we're going to work on cutting armbar from close guard. I've taken Josh's gear off because it's much easier to see how I'm going to manipulate this elbow and to get a cutting armbar to work, you really have to be precise with where your arm is placed and how you place it. So when I go for a cutting armbar, I'm just going to quickly show you the, the move really quick. So I'm going to come underneath the body and I grab like this. I step out to the side and I finish. So if I do it on this side, I come underneath the body, step out to the side and finish the submission from here. So we're just going to go through the, the first detail about the cutting armbar. And that's how I set up the arm. So for a cutting armbar to work, it's super important that as I shoot underneath and I grab the arm, I align Josh's arm up in a position where I can actually attack it. So at the moment, if you see Josh's elbow here, it's facing in this direction. And it means that if I put pressure on top of his arm, it just collapses. So as I go to grab, I take this section on my hand and I've got a bone, this bone that points out on my thumb. It hooks underneath Josh's elbow here like this. That's going to gain traction. And as I grab, I grab my arms together and I roll the elbow over. So now you can see that the elbow's pointing upwards. So I'm here like this. Arm goes underneath. I grab and it points upwards. Now from here, if I drive and pull everything in tight, I'm just pulling Josh's arm into my body. So I need to create space underneath the body so that I can finish it. To do that, I'm going to hip escape and create as much space underneath me as possible. So I'm here like this and I hip escape right out and there's a huge gap of space under here. I'm going to do it again from the other side so that you can see. So if I'm on this side, I come underneath, I roll my hand up. I need space because there's this massive, um, th there's no gap here, my chest is in the way. So I hip escape out to the side and create a huge gap of space. From here I can finish the armbar. Okay, let's go into quickly finishing the armbar. So I'm going to come in this position. I roll underneath and I set up the arm. I set out, make space to the side. Now when I finish the armbar, I know that Josh is going to try and pull his arm out in this direction. So to stop that, when I'm in this direction and I grab, I don't just pull downwards, I angle my hand slightly and I'm trying to drag Josh's arm towards me. So I'm here like this, I've ro rotated and I pull towards me and then down. If I, if I don't pull towards me and I go like this and might maybe push down, yeah, Josh may have an opportunity to slip his arm out. Last time, I'm here like this. I come underneath, I roll my thumb over the top, grab, hip escape, make a huge amount of space so that I can push the arm all the way to the floor. I've rotated my hand and I'm not pulling down, I'm pulling on an angle towards me like this to finish. 